Hi, in this video we will learn how to create a calculation that dynamically changes the date level on user selection. So for that first we need to create a parameter that can be used as a date level selector. To create a parameter click on this drop down select create parameter. I am going to name the parameter as date level and choose string as data type and select list enter the list of values year month day and then click ok now right click on the order date and select create and then choose custom date from the detail drop down select years and then click ok repeat the same steps to get the months and days right click on the order date go to create select custom date and then choose months from the detail drop down click ok i am going to do it again for days go to create custom date and then select days then click ok now we will write a calculation that will switch the date level based on the parameter selection so select create calculated field i am going to name the calculation as order date level so case when date level parameter is year then give me order date of years when month then order date of months similarly when day then order date of days and then end click ok drag this calculation to the columns and drag any measure to the rows to switch the values on user selection right click on the date level parameter and then select show parameter control from here user can choose the date level so click on the drop down to select month so before that you by default when you drag the calculation tableau is showing year of order date so to change this right click on the year of order date and select exact date and then convert it to discrete okay now if i select year you can see four marks displayed in this view for four years if you select month so you have data point for each month we select days we'll get the data for all the days there is one limitation in this method that is uh, even though you select the date level year you are still seeing the date format in you are seeing months and days so to overcome this issue i'll show you the another method that displays the exact date format based on the date level selection so for that I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to name the calculation as order date two. So if date level is equal to year then give me year of order date so i'm going to convert this as a string using str function else if date level is equal to month then date name 
so date name returns the name based on the date part if you provide month as the date part then you will get you will get the result was uh, january february march and so on date name month comma order date so this this calculation returns the output in string format plus so i'm going to add comma so to append strings you can just add plus symbol plus i will append year to the month name so using str function you can convert any integer to the string str of year of order date okay when user selects year you will see only year and when user selects month then you will get month name and year else if now we will write the condition when user selects the day then date name month comma order date plus so now we will write calculation that returns day of order date so day function returns the day of order date to convert it to the string format add str function plus at the end we will add year str of year of order date then end okay click ok now replace the order level with the new calculation I'm going to select line as mark type so now if you can see we have the exact the format that required when user selects year if I select month then you can see the month name and year displayed if we select day you can see month name date and year displayed which is correct and that's it for today if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching